So, postman's been today, and uh, we've got a nice little parcel here. I'm going to open this up and have a look. Ex Caledonian R763 LMS 422, Ex Caledonian, number 140100, OO scale. A famous Caledonian 422 locomotive, number 123, first modelled by Triang Railways in 1963, was produced up to 1967, during which time 10,381 were sold. A later rerun took place in 1973 when a further 5,100 were produced, these having plated wheel tyres. The model is now reintroduced as it ran in LMS days from 1923. Now this is the 1983 catalogue from Hornby. If we turn to page 17, under the Locos 83 Always Something New section, we can see it there. Now, I had absolutely no idea of the existence of this locomotive. I bought all my LMS stuff, my red, crimson, maroon, whatever you want to call it, LMS stuff back in about 2000, 2001, maybe 2002, something like that. Okay, I wasn't aware of this one then. Seems that it was a special edition. Now, if we have a look up the top here, it says, the latest addition to the Select Classic Limited Edition series, the LMS X Caledonian 422 Class 1P Locomotive number 14010. Never before producing this livery, the Class 1P will have a limited production run of 5,000. In keeping with the others in this series, Hornby guarantee that it will not be produced again for at least five years. Truly a collector's and enthusiast's item. Now, like I said, I knew nothing about it. So I've been on eBay this week. And I've managed to, to find a few of them. So I'm quite pleased. Ex Caledonian LMS 422 locomotive number 14010 history. This locomotive was designed and built by Nelson and Co of Glasgow in 1886 for the Caledonian Railway. It was originally painted royal blue, lined out in gold and numbered 123. Now approaching its 100th birthday, it is preserved in this livery at the Glasgow Museum of Transport. In 1888, number 123 was selected to operate the racing trains over the 103 quarter mile route between Carlisle and Edinburgh. This section included the 10 mile rise of gradients between 1 in 88 and 1 in 69 to Betox Summit, Summit in Lanarkshire. On one occasion, this journey was completed in 102 and a half minutes an average speed of 59 miles per hour. With the introduction of more powerful locomotives for express work, number 123, later numbered, renumbered 1123, moved back to Glasgow where it was always kept in immaculate condition and was used to haul the director's special saloon coach. At the grouping of the railway companies in 1923, the engine was taken into the LMS, renumbered 14010 and painted in the characteristic red of that company. From 1930 it was shedded at Perth for working mainline passenger trains to and from Dundee. During this time it was repainted black and scheduled to be broken up. Happily people began to realise that it was the last working example of a single Wheeler Express engine and a successful movement was started to save it from the breakers. In due course it was overhauled and restored to its original colour scheme. This Hornby model was first marketed in 1963 in blue livery. Rerun in 1973 with plated wheel tyres and now comes in its livery of the 1920s. Let's see this model. Oh, oh, look at that. Let's tilt it to get rid of the reflections. Oh, looks very different to what I've already got on the track. I'll have to take that out of the box and have a look. So this is a 1983 model, according to that. We've got our care and maintenance and operating instructions. It even tells you about fitting a 01 locomotive module. So let's have a look at the actual engine itself. Uh, engine and tender. All looks very, very pretty, very clean. I suspect it might uh, benefit from a quick run around the track, don't you? 
So we're going to start by having a look at it. First off, the tender. Very light, weighs nothing. This isn't a powered tender. Feels quite plasticky. In fact, the wheels are plastic, if I'm not mistaken. Wheels on the bogies. Okay. So, fake coal up the top, a little hatch. Got our buffers and so on. Now that has got just a simple hole for the tender. So we're going to pop that on there. Look at the actual locomotive itself now. So, metal wheels on the bogies. Quite interesting, large drive wheel there. The detailing is actually not that great. I'm surprised for a special edition, I'd have expected more. It looks a little bit plastic. It looks better than that other one that I didn't have. Oh, look at that horrid visible screw there. It's really big right in the middle there. Can't really see it. Um, because I'm guessing this probably sold at a premium, but actually it doesn't look all that great in terms of the finish. Yeah, you know, we can consider it against one of the Lizzies. You know, you've got the metal handrails and the lining and just a higher quality model. Surprised, surprised. But anyway, we're going to pop this on. So this just has a little hook for the tender. So obviously the tender is just basically like an extra wagon and then we just position that and drop it on so there we have it in situ now obviously i've put it on my my big lms layout which carries all the hornby lms locomotives with the exception of that rubbishy little one from the my first train set which i sold last week on ebay and has now gone so we've got them all and I'll, I'll i'll do a film on them all at some point but as this is catch of the day we're going to make a start here so fingers crossed it works because i'm fed up by having to return things i've returned three gwr hornby locomotives in the last five days that have turned up not being what they were advertised as but anyway here we go let's have a look does it go okay let's see if it just needs a little oh yeah right. let's check it out got a good speed there 